Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a video playlist using OBS. OBS manually brings in, or I guess internally brings in, just the option to play one video at a time, and you have to manually click play, end it, add another one, etc. With a plugin named VLC Media Player, we're able to add a playlist of videos, for example, 15, 20, 30, there's no limit. Um, and also, the amount of time is also unlimited. You can play four hour movies, two hour movies, three hour movies, you know, programs, preachings, etc. Um, and it loops it 24 7, which is great. Um, so, first things first, we're going to want to download that plugin so we can use it in OBS. We're going to go on Google and we're going to look up VLC Media Player. We're going to click on the very first result, uh, videoland.org, official download of VLC Media Player. And we're going to click on download VLC. Before we download the program, it's very important that you know if your computer is 32 bit Windows or 64 bit Windows, because it has to be the same exact model or download for the computer. So right now the computer here in the office is a 64 bit. So we're going to click on the 64 bit option. And we're going to give it a second to start downloading. If not, we can just click here where it says and we'll start playing. But we're downloading, I guess it should be. There it is. We just click keep. We're going to give it a few seconds now as it downloads. Pretty much what we're downloading here is going to be the program that we can allow OBS to upload all the videos to. So we're going to give it a quick second and it's downloaded. We're going to click on it, start it up. It's going to ask us, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We're going to click yes. We're going to click select the language English. Next, 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 install. And we're going to give it a second. And we're going to click or uncheck the option where it says run VLC media player so it doesn't start. Finish. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up OBS and we're going to go to sources. We're going to click on the add option and we're going to see an option VLC video source that normally doesn't have it um, available if you haven't downloaded VLC. So if you have VLC video source just like I do, we're going to click on it and we're going to give it a title. We're going to name it playlist loop and we're going to click OK. Now here where it says a playlist option and the plus, we can this is pretty much going to be where we can upload all our programs, videos, etc. We're going to click on it add files and right now I have four pretty much stock footage videos that I downloaded for this test to show you guys how it works and we also have two options here loop playlist and shuffle playlist there's a couple more options here that I'm going to get to in the next couple of videos but for now we're just going to show you how to make the playlist and get it started and working so loop playlist means that it'll happen 24 7 it'll go one by one by one by one until it finishes and then starts again and then shuffle meaning it'll play from video one to video four video four to video two video two to video five etc etc Right now, we just want video one to four, just so I can show you guys how it works. We're going to click on OK once we have all the videos added, and it'll automatically start pretty much playing the playlist. Right now, we have the rain video, which is the first one. The second video is going to be a lemon, and then the third video is going to be a camera, and the fourth is going to be wood. So now we're just going to give it a quick second. We can also click on the videos, and OBS tells us pretty much how long is left. So this video is a three second video, four, three, two, one, and it'll be over. So this is the third video now, the camera. The fourth video is going to be one of uh, wood. There it is. Okay, so this is the fourth video. And pretty much after this video, it's going to start up with the rain one again because it pretty much started from one, two, three, four. And we didn't click the shuffle option. And there we go. Pretty much it basically starts up the whole playlist once again. So I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to add it one more time. Sources. The plus option, VLC video source, we're going to give it a title, test 24 or 28, enter, and we're going to click playlist, add option, add files, add all four videos, and then we're going to click shuffle playlist now just to shuffle the playlist, we're going to click OK, and it automatically starts with the lemon video, which was video number two, I believe, and then after this one, let's see which one it goes to. And the camera, which is the third one. So it pretty much shuffles the all the files. I imagine if you have maybe 50 programs, 25 programs, it won't do the same ones like I do. They have eight seconds. But um, this is pretty much a video on how to get that started and how to work on that. I recommend you subscribe to the channel because in the next few videos we'll be talking just a little more about OBS and the many options it has. If you have any questions or concerns or trouble, please let me know in the comments below and I'm happy to help you out. Thank you so much and have a great day.